Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those who are new here, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be doing um, something different. Um, so, I was at my local grocery store the other day buying some uh, Kiss Glue and I saw this, um, this uh, press-on remover. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I want to take off these press-on nails that I made. I'm a press-on girly, you know, and if this helps me get the off easier i'm all for it so let me try i did go ahead and start opening it and i thought why don't i make a video um just see how it is you know so let's see get on in here see if there's any instructions um remove cap and apply glue off along cuticle wait one minute while the nail glue remover softens and dissolves the nail glue build up use the chisel tip to lift off false nails and then wipe off softened glue with paper towel do not force or pull off falsy or false nails repeat process as necessary use a nail buffer to remove glue residue on natural nail and smooth the surface um after use close cap to secure. Okay. We have been educated. Let me get into this thing. There's all kinds of warnings on here. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh yeah, no glue has that too. So here's our little buffer if we need it. And then let me get ugh. I'm gonna hurt myself here on accident. But yeah, I'm going on um, a vacation here in a couple days and I wanna make my nails a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm gonna get a new set for that and I just wanna make my life a little bit easier for the moment. Um, oh, whoa. Okay, well be careful of that. Oh. Okay, well that just went everywhere. Um, I don't like this applicator. It just spills out. So I applied it at the cuticle. Go ahead and do the other side. Oh, it just pours. I do not like that. Um. I'm worried it's gonna just pour it. Oh my goodness. I don't know about this, y'all. Let's see. Use the chisel tip, but I'm scared it's gonna just pour all out over the place. It has a funky smell. I don't want to hurt myself. Oh. Put some more. See, it just comes out so f everywhere. No. No. This is not cool. I don't like how this is doing me here. This thing was like $5 too, y'all. Probably gonna dry out my cuticles. I'm just worried. Has anybody used this? Let me know if I just got a, a faulty one. <clears throat> ah. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna let it soak. And we're gonna try again in a minute. Okay, so it's been a minute. Um, I did go under and apply some more. I like lifted up the edge as best as I could and put some more in and just kind of let it sit. But I'm going to start using my cuticle pusher, this like sharp end to just kind of try to get the edges up. Goodness, this is aggressive. I don't, I don't like that. You know, and I keep my, my nails in, um, I don't want to 
destroy them. So let's see. Let's see. Whoa. Ow. Okay. I mean, the glue did get soft. That's weird. It's like jello y feeling. Okay. Don't do this at home. Be more gentle. I'm being rough. But they are... They are coming off a little bit easier compared to just ripping them off. And now I did use Kiss nail glue for this, so these products should have been compatible. Um, but Kiss, y'all need to work on y'all's packaging game because this is terrible. One use products like right here and it's all over my table. If you know how to use this better or like some tips and tricks on this, let me know. If I'm using it wrong, inform me, but uh Ooh, ow, that one actually hurt. Ow. That one I feel like it's gonna take a while. Okay. Yeah, I know it's not real helping because see my some of my nails coming up. It's kind of not helping here. Alrighty, well I'm gonna give this one a minute, but um I let this stuff soak, y'all. I'm gonna go remove this one off camera. But my personal final thoughts on this is don't buy it unless somebody else knows how to do it better or I got a faulty one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe.